हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस क्लास 11 मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर 11 कॉनिक सेक्शंस इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूले डेफिनेशंस एंड रिवीजन पॉइंट्स द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज अ सर्कल इज अ सेट ऑफ ऑल पॉइंट्स इन अ प्लेन दैट आर इक्विडिस्टेंट फ्रॉम अ फिक्स्ड पॉइंट इन अ इन द प्लेन मींस दिस इज अ सर्कल सो ऑल दीस पॉइंट्स आर इन अ प्लेन सेम प्लेन एट दिस आर डिस्टेंस equidistance from this point this is center point so this is called center and equidistance from a fixed point in the plane that is called this the center and the distance is called its radius second point the equation of a line with center h comma k and radius small r is if the center is h comma k and radius is small r then equation of the circle is given by x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equals to r square so if equation of circle with center is 0 0 means if center is 0 0 and radius r then it will be what x square plus y square equals to r square now it comes parabola the parabola is the set of all points in the plane that are equidistant from a fixed line and a fixed point in the plane okay parabola just see here what is parabola this is the parabola so parabola is a set of all points in a plane means all these points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed line fixed line this this is the fixed line and the fixed point in the plane fixed point is what this one okay this focus so fixed line and fixed point in the plane the equation of the parabola with focus at a comma zero if focus a comma 0 a greater than 0 means this is positive and directrix x equals to minus a this fixed line is called directrix and this fixed point is called its focus so directrix x equals to minus a this is given by y square equals to 4ax so this is standard form of parabola its equation is what y square equals to 4ax where a is its focus point a comma 0 where a is greater than 0 means right hand side now let us rectum of a parabola let us rectum of a parabola is a line segment perpendicular to the axis of the parabola what is axis here in this case this is called axis of the parabola this is axis of the parabola and perpendicular to this means line segment perpendicular to the axis of the parabola and passing through the focus means this one this is focus and passing through the focus this line is called its lattice rectum so the focus and whose end points lie on the parabola these end points here on parabola so this is parabola you have to remember that length of the lattice rectum of the parabola y square equal to 4ax is what 4a means 4 times of this focus x coordinate then ellipse an ellipse is the set of all points in a plane the sum of whose distances from two fixed points in the plane is a constant what is ellipse this is the ellipse this ellipse and its set of all points in a plane means all these points in a plane sum of whose distances from two fixed points two fixed points which two fixed points this is called the axis of this and here two fixed points these are two four keys f1 and f2 you can say so this sum of the two distances means like this point on per in ellipse so this distance plus this distance is same as this distance plus this distance okay so means sum of these points so these distances from these two fixed points on the ellipse is constant means it will be same now equation of the ellipse with foci on the x axis is this is x axis foci is a1 means foci is f1 f2 so what will be the equation x square divided by a square plus y square divided by b square equals to 1 here you can see this is this is a and this is b so x square by a square plus y square by b square equals to 1 now let us rectum of the ellipse is a line segment perpendicular to the major axis this is called major axis this is minor axis and this on major axis this is center o 0 0 and this is a and this on minor axis is b here so let us check on the ellipse in the line segment perpendicular to the major axis 
through any of the four key okay this four key or this four key so this will be the what latest rectangle on the ellipse and whose end points lie on the ellipse end points on ellipse like in case of hyperbola parabola same thing so now length of latest rectangle of the ellipse is given by x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 this is the ellipse form extended form its latest rectangle is given by 2b square divided by a 2b square is in denominator of y square and divided by a its square root of denominator of the x square so 2b square divided by a that way you can directly calculate for your mcq exams now eccentricity eccentricity of an ellipse is the ratio between the distances from the center of the ellipse to one of the foci means from center of the ellipse if we take any one of the foci and ratio of the distances from the center of the ellipse to one of the foci and to the one of the vertices of the ellipse means center to ellipse and center to foci so center to foci divided by center to ellipse the distances ratio is called its eccentricity now its hyperbola a hyperbola is set of all points in a plane the differences of those whose distances from two fixed points in the plane is a constant this is hyperbola actually this and this this is hyperbola so hyperbola is a set of all points in a plane the difference of whose distances from two fixed points which two fixed points these two fixed points this is the four key so these two fixed points distance of this is constant okay in this plane this distances are constant from this for this point this and this difference and for this point this and this difference this is constant is exactly same now equation of hyperbola with four key on the x axis this is x axis and here two four keys so what will the equation x square divided by a square minus y square divided by b square equals to 1 in case of parabola equation was y square equal to 4x for ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 and for hyperbola it's x square by a square minus y square by b square equals to 1 i think it is clear to you now next point is let us rectum of a hyperbola is a line segment perpendicular to the transverse axis the x axis in case of hyperbola is known as transverse axis and y axis is known as conjugate axis in case of hyperbola so let us rectum of hyperbola is a line segment perpendicular to the transverse axis through any of the foci like in case of parabola ellipse okay and whose end points lie on the hyperbola so for let us rectum its end point always lies on the curve either it is parabola ellipse or hyperbola now length of let us rectum of the hyperbola length of let us rectum of hyperbola of x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 1 is what 2b square divided by a for this equation you have to remember for this equation it is 2b square divided by a okay for others it may be different now eccentricity eccentricity of hyperbola is the ratio of the distances from the center of the hyperbola to one of the foci and to one of the vertices of the hyperbola means first you find the distance of the center of the hyperbola to foci and then find the distance from center of the hyperbola to one of the vertices and then that ratio is called its eccentricity so eccentricity of hyperbola is ratio of distances from the center of the hyperbola to one of the foci and to one of the vertices of the hyperbola i think it's clear to you so please just like and share it to your friends and subscribe this channel to get such types of videos thanks for watching